After more than two decades of armed conflict, perpetuated by the Lord's Resistance Army, LRA, under the command of Joseph Kony, and the intertribal conflicts instigated by the Karamajong cattle rustlers, by 2007, the people of Amuria and Katekwi districts of Teso region, northeastern Uganda, started resettling in their home areas to start a new beginning. The horrific and prolonged consequences of these conflicts devastated lives of many people in Teso region. There was untold suffering during and after the conflicts. Many lives and livelihoods were lost. Many women and girls were raped. As part of the resettlement program, for more than 30 years, Vision Teso Rural Development Organization, or Vision Terudo, with support from Tear Fund Australia, has been implementing a rehabilitation and construction program for the people affected by the conflict in Tessa region. Tear Australia has funded Vision Terudo for the last 30 years. Yeah, this project uh, started way back in 1982, as I've said. That was the beginning of Vision Terudo and started from around Mora here and was funded by Tear Australia. Because the project we are dealing with is the, the one funded by Tia Australia. So from 1982 to now 20, 2015, it's quite some period. So that's about 33 years of sustained relationship with, the, with Tia Australia. There was the food insecurity in the districts. Following the, the Liberation War, a number of uh, uh, people were yet unsettled. A number of uh, programs that were running got destroyed. So those problems of food, those problems of education, those problems of health were the basis for this. Now, specifically coming to why did we choose to to have what we what we did? It's because looking at Ngora, first of all, the people themselves were enthusiastic. They welcomed uh, the, the project and therefore it was a good beginning. Also when we went to Katakui, again because of the background, we found people were more expectant for some kind of external support, which Vision Terudo with its mandate was able to fulfill while we were there. Why Katakui? Katakui has undergone uh, a lot of challenges. First of all, the Karamajong used to raid that place so much and it became more and more vulnerable each time in terms of food security, in terms of even security for persons. Now also uh, the natural calamities like floods uh, always would be worse off in Katakui and Amuria. So making uh, life very, very difficult for people to sustain themselves there. So some kind of external support was necessary. And also when we had all these wars, the insurgency, the, the Konyu war, they actually concentrated there. So those people were more vulnerable than elsewhere. And that's why we, we had to take up uh, some projects there to support our people in that place. A new beginning, away from internally displaced people's camps, was not easy. For people who lost almost everything, they had a part of their lives and hope to start again. Vision Terudo has been on the forefront of seeing to it that the people of Teso are empowered. The people of Teso are trained to make sure that they have their own destination for life. So Vision Terudo has been training uh, farmers. It has been training people on various items. Uh, we have been training paravets. We have been training these groups on uh, business skills. During the course of these conflicts, more than 500,000 people were relocated into internally displaced people's camps where vulnerability to contracting HIV was significantly higher. By the time the conflict had ended, many people had acquired the HIV virus and many children were also living with HIV AIDS. Okay, I'm William Iko, resident of Obadja Jesai village. Obalanga Parish, Obalanga Sabu County, Amuria District.
Vision Terudo came here immediately after corn, and then we, when we were doing resettlement, that was around 206. Started with the giving awareness on AIDS, and then people were identified. Then there was this HIV AIDS test, testing and counseling. We we. We came in on board the, the, those who were affected, uh, in fact infected. And then they gave us some training on uh, counseling uh, programs with them counseling ADs. During the resettlement period, Vision Terudo was among the first organizations in Amuria, Katakui, and Gora districts to come up with HIV AIDS prevention, mitigation, and livelihood support projects. Uh, when we were beginning the intervention, we found that people were weak, people didn't know their status, so we had to organize mobile outreaches to carry out HIV AIDS counseling and testing, and people were not accepting their status. So we felt like training, we trained people we call counseling aides, and those were the people that had to continue providing psychosocial support. And as they were very weak and they, were, they had lost all their properties during insurgency, so if they felt they needed to be supported with livelihood support. And we also gave them a startup capital to begin a group that was doing village saving activity, just to enable them back up their income source. Under the HIV components, we have uh, activities like HIV AIDS counseling and testing. We have safe medical circumcision. We have provision of septrin prophylaxis. We also have a component of livelihood support to the people living with HIV AIDS. And we have structural prevention activities. The HIV Prevention and Awareness Program has since been instrumental in providing psychosocial support, empowering people to fight HIV stigma, discrimination, as well as giving people affected and infected by HIV AIDS livelihood skills. There were people that were recovering from the, the disease and the stigma and discrimination that we were going through. They were able now to come in groups and appreciate one another's efforts and they worked together and that has enabled them to change their lives quite very, very well. And they, they too have made others to come out openly and disclose and that has enhanced the reduction of HIV AIDS spread in their community. HIV Vision Terudo has group. empowered people living with HIV AIDS to form groups where members carry out savings and credit initiatives, share experiences, learn about positive living, train to become HIV counseling agents in their communities, as well as giving group members livelihood support. We formed for groups. In those groups, they taught us, they taught us on livelihood. Uh, how we can provide for ourselves. We give them livelihood support. In that livelihood support, we have the APR project in it. Uh, they, they do it at a group level. We give at individual households, we avail them with the goods, each individual with the two goods. And then the other, we also avail them with the, um, uh, uh, orange seedlings, agriculture, we, we give them orange seedlings and there's poultry keeping for the individuals at individual level, at the household level. I'm a Piero Margaret, Obajai village, Palana, Parish. Margaret, a mother of five, believes without Vision Teruda support, she would have passed on already. When Vision came, at the first, I was not able to get even a goat, even to sleep like this, this very house, I would have not, up now. Even now, I would not be alive like this, 
Now I am fatter even. No ideas, they are disturbing me. Even I can eat as I like. Even the some goats are there. I built that house with the some goats of Vision Teldo. Mm. How many goats do you have right now? I have 22. Margaret has since trained to become an HIV AIDS counselor, <laughs> providing psychosocial support <laughs> to people living with HIV <laughs> in her community. Uh, even this very this agriculture I got from Vision Teldo and I can grow more and plenty which can assist my family up now I am not going to buy any food at my solar I sold my genus one sack and I bought it for 50,000 and now I am charging my phone I am happy now because I am sleeping in a safe place now even the rain is not linking I'm free John John also believes that he would have been dead by now if he had not received support from the project.